couples like to cross where you can see all those rapids. And the camera's somewhere. Ah, oh, well done, Ferg. There's the camera. There's a hippo snorting in the background. And like I said, they crossed across that area of rapids and that camera is just so incredibly well positioned. The last time we had a crossing coming across there, the zebra are literally were, were running straight down the barrel. So some wonderful views. And then the other camera, main south, is a little bit further downstream from us, about 200 meters. But we're not going to see that from here. What we are going to be able to see is this yellow-billed stork looking for a meal. And as you can see, it slowly probes with an open beak and as soon as it feels any little bit of movement with incredible speed it will clamp shut. Quite a bizarre looking bird with that bald head. And let's just spend some time here. I know yesterday I think it was there was a discussion on what fish occur in the Mara. Oh! oh no, just moving from A to B. And this will be a good way to try and work out which fish there are. We'll get the birds to do the fishing for us. Although, don't go behind the bank, thank you. Just there's okay, not ideal, a little bit to the right. But if it does clamp onto something, you'll see how it also uses its feet, not as much as the hummocops do. Hummocops are incredible hunters and they use their little toes to help them detect any prey. You saw the stork doing it kind of once or twice there, but it's not a go-to move. Oh, did it catch something? No, it obviously felt a fish, but it wasn't quick enough there. But considering where it is now, I think we either have to reposition or call it a day. So while we do that, we are gonna send you over to Taylor, who has a king on the castle.